Welcome back to the Professionally <laughs> Hot Podcast. Brr, 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 brr. It's like, hi guys. Brr, 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 brr. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? I love you. I miss you. I love you. I miss you. You are my angel from above. Oh my god, you're the light of my life. Wait, Kenneth, you have to you have to bring your mic forward again. You have to like you have oh, to say me mic. forward, Mike. Yeah, you have to Hello? Like, suck on your microphone. <laughs> now everyone knows what that sounds like. <laughs> Perfect. This is for sale now. You owe you owe Kenzie a tip. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, see? welcome back to the Professionally Hot Podcast. This is another episode. What is this episode three of season two? This is episode three, season two. Coming back hot for you. Yeah. yeah. Um, we're actually talking about like a, a, what's the word? Like a present issue. There's it's hot off the press, breaking news. Um, once <laughs> extra, again, extra. <laughs> Fucking read all about it. Oh my God. People are going to make my little paper boy hat on. on. <laughs> yeah, I thought they were hucking newspapers at people. <laughs> yeah. Don't accept Read advice it. from newbies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Don't get um, scammed. Local scam artists, local floozy scamming women into believing they can also be a floozy. <laughs> For fast and easy money. That's that's the topic of today. How there's no such fucking thing as fast and easy money in this industry. Um, well, I think, girl, how many times have we shouted out Violet Doll over the course of this podcast? Like five hundred. I'm to the point where I'm going to be sad if she doesn't listen to us. You know what? I <laughs> like, I, we're I would about just you. <laughs> I just expect she. I just think she's so cool that I would like never expect her to give me the time of day. You know, but like. Sometimes she does. You need better standards special. for yourself. It, honestly, you're not wrong. I could use some extra <laughs> self-esteem. <laughs> uh, anyway, point is, uh, neat little conversation going on on Twitter. This is not the first time that this fucking issue comes up. Okay, things in the like cam world or like online sex work world, they just go around in circles. You know, like we we bring yeah. up the same topics like every few years. Um, yeah. But it was relevant to me actually because. Um, Girl, I was on TikTok and I'm sure you've seen the same shit. And like, this may come across as like literally just shady because I'm talking about one person. And if people can figure out who that is, then girl, chill. Okay. Um, but I came across this TikTok account of this girl being like, it is so easy to make $20,000 a month on Twitter just by bullying men. <laughs> If that was, was true, like, I'd be a 20 millionaire heiress to exactly. a very big fucking platform because that's not, no. That's just, that just ain't it. Like, oh my God. Um, So I saw that and I was watching these videos and I was like, girl, who are you? And like, it's, it's standard. It's like, this is someone who's been in the industry for two seconds um, yeah. and then pops off on how to make, like, essentially they, they make content that is for people like trying to do the thing they're not and sometimes i don't think they're even doing the thing at all they're just trying to get visibility by like luring essentially luring people in it's literally the opposite of what you do you're like here's all this information and then sometimes you charge for it but it's not like it's not information that's like like your information is very helpful and you're not just like here i'm making $20,000 $20,000 a month and this is what you can do too but also pay for my $30 a month subscription to this information like that's, that's yeah. insane you're sca- you're you're literally doing what we hate the owners of MFC for yeah fucking, <laughs> like, fucking scam. essentially you're becoming a white privileged guy who's stealing off the back of sex workers <laughs> precisely um and there's a whole industry now that that wasn't around when we started there's an entire industry based off of making money off of new creators rather than like helping new creators make money um yeah and so we want to talk today i like both of us can like chat some mad shit today about like a how the how how do we actually make any money (laughs) what do we do in our jobs i have no idea anymore um but then b like if you're looking for advice, if you want to get started, if you're like trying to figure out, you know, what do I post on OnlyFans? Like, how do I be a cam girl? Who do you go to for that advice? Yeah. You know? I don't know. Um, <laughs> hey, Kenzie, how do you make money? 
Uh, it is called scamming men. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I wish i had the energy to scam men but like yes yeah, i was just going through the no, the um the catfish that I, that person made of me where they like are they're using not only are they using horrible pictures of me like pictures of me crying or like pictures of me with like a bad filter on like a funny nice. filter or something a little screenshot that like there's their profile picture is me as an avatar like a blue person oh your my worst God. nightmare um, and then they say that I'm widowed and that they're like, my dog's been stolen. So they have to help Lily. They put her name in quotes every time. And it's wild because this person has been in my life for years where they're, they've been catfishing me, but they make so much money. I don't know how they do it. I'm like, can you sell my content for me? Cause I'm exhausted. I don't want to do it. Just do it for right? me. Like, I'll, give you a, I'll give you a cut. Yeah. <laughs> like, I had a catfish I had, a, I had a catfish named Melissa that just was relentless. Thank God she's fucked off now. But it was like every other day I'd get like messages from people being like, hey, did you make another account? Or like, hey, is your real name Melissa? And I'm like, yeah, no, but okay. No. <laughs> Ashley T, you have to admit that you make like a different account every fucking day. This is very true. Instagram. I have made it. You so, know, what? I, I definitely get excited fair. sometimes. <laughs> I think it's fair if people are like, did you make another account? <laughs> are you addicted to making Instagram accounts? Yeah, I love Don't making worry. Instagram accounts. Intervention coming soon. That's our next episode. It. It's me Dude, it's intervening free. into Ashley T's uh, social media obsession. <laughs> yeah, I just make new accounts for fun, like, all the time. People are like, I'm is this actually you? I'm surprise. You. I'm going to start recording you documentary style. And it'll just be all your moments that you're on social media. And people will be like, oh, my God, she's literally insane. That is oh. why I, I look at this. I got two phones, <laughs> one for my life and the other one because I can't stop making Instagram accounts. Yeah, <laughs> that makes sense. Um, Anyways, my point was that that catfish is working harder than the, she's she's working for her money. She's standing on her business. I'm not. <laughs> yeah. I'm tired. Damn. No, I mean, in yeah. a real level, I I work hard. I try to mm -hmm. do as much as I can without making me want to write out a lovely letter to my family <laughs> yeah, saying goodbye. Yeah. And I yeah. do what I can do. Um, but uh, very different. <laughs> very I just different understood lives. what you meant by <laughs> writing a letter to your family. I was like, how does that? I saw oh. it. <laughs> Took a I minute. Saw it took a minute. <laughs> like gears in my brain were like, no, uh, oh, <laughs> no. Literally, every single time I get my period, I'm like, time to write my letter, and then I'm like, why am I so depressed? I'm like, oh, it's because I'm a woman. It's my <laughs> I got my you. Period. Fair enough. Yeah. Um, but yeah, with working, I try and I've been recently putting in way more effort trying to yeah. Do the social media side, because that's really, the, like, I think that's the only way that you can make money. I don't think that, they're, like, if you oh, just man. open up an OnlyFans, you may get two subscribers, but, like, on a roll, that's not, it's just, you're yeah. not going to do it. And that's, that's one of the things, we'll, we'll come back to this, but as a marker, that's one of the things that pisses me off the most is people saying that you can do it without social media. Like, they're, like, saying that, you know, like, selling this, this idea of being able to be really good on OnlyFans or whatever sex selling yeah. platform mm -hmm. they're on and saying that you don't need social media and like just start posting it's like no like for that's not who baby girl yeah, for who yeah like, for who we have to do at least mfc had you know like a chat room or not yes chat room, but like we'll get into this you know, a yeah. viewing room but you know other sites yes. don't so if you don't have that social media presence i'm not saying you have to have 20 million fucking followers follower no. count does not equal subscribers no but uh it doesn't. yeah it's it doesn't. it's the social media side you have to have it and you have to i think you have to show your face at this point i don't think people oh are, absolutely yeah so, so like it's, it's life, like no um so like because personal. like because i've been writing the cam girl survival guide for so fucking long now right like and my inbox on tumblr my ask <laughs> messages on tumblr um Triggered. the most common questions i get asked are ones that i see like essentially utilized and manipulated for views or like for like viral potential on TikTok these days is number one, do I have to show my face? And number two, do I have to get naked? Right. And um, you, my answer to like, do you have to show your face? Yes, you absolutely fucking do. Um, yeah. Do you have to get naked? No, you don't. Um, 
but I see the like because that's such a common question I would get hella views on TikTok from potential newbies if I went on there being like oh I can tell you how to do OnlyFans without sh showing your face that's like it's gonna yeah. go around right but it's bullshit mm -hmm. no I agree it's, um, it's you're not actually giving them information maybe you're giving them a little information but not at the level of like the things that you and I and other industry markers have made to yeah. figure this shit out because yeah. if you could do it overnight everyone that did it overnight would still be here yeah yeah and the life expectancy this sounds so dark not like actual life expectancy we're not talking like <laughs> writing letters but in the, the like, wild <laughs> the like yeah the like career <laughs> lifespan um expectancy of of online sex workers is so short like I have seen yeah. so we we remember so many people that were there for a minute and now I, they're gone right like it yeah we're also like what happened to them yeah yeah exactly it's kind of the way um, it goes you know people don't stick around long and I think OnlyFans makes it even easier to like dip your toe in one time and then be like oh I didn't make twenty thousand dollars in a month like this girl said I would um, yeah and I mean it's one thing here's here's the, here's the like catch right this is part of who do you get your information from. Um, you have to actually use your fucking brain, okay? Because this individual on TikTok is talking about pay pigs. She's talking about going on Twitter to find pay pigs and is making a bunch of claims about her lifestyle. She's talking about how she's able to go on a really expensive trips. She mentions that, like, oh, she says, oh, like, I'm single right now. But, like, when I had a boyfriend, like, these people, they would, like, send us like dinner date money they wanted us to be together like they want to feel like lonely and stuff and while all of this information is like interesting to the you'd think it's like the target audience is the people trying to learn how to do what she's doing yeah. but her target audience is the papers <clears throat> yeah right yeah. like when she goes viral offering advice all she's really doing is marketing herself and we have no idea if she's actually making that much money as a as a financial yeah. dom like thing number one is to make yourself seem like you're already fucking rolling in it right yep. so i'm like yep. these these you know these videos are so fucking predatory because at the end of the day even if the creator themselves isn't aware of it they're not making advice content they're advertising their own their own brand yeah yeah and the people that they that will end up probably seeing those videos more than paid pigs are people that want to make a quick buck and are poor and mm -hmm. strapped cash. Like, yeah, so they're going to see yeah. that $30 thing and say, well, I mean, she's making it so I can too. And like, I'm sorry, but I have a really hard time believing that she's making her main income from pay pigs and not just from the $30 guy that she's selling. Yeah. Like, I yeah. And I mean, the, the, that. The TikTok chick is not selling a guide, but so many of the, like the one I've been of isn't, seeing has does been, sell the guides. Right? And I wonder yeah. if I could literally just pop it up because it's like it's constant yeah. and it's not. And that's what like I'm gonna directly quote TikTok. like Violet Doll here because like this is what you're yeah. talking about. She just said, if a sex worker is consistently seeking ways to make money from other sex workers, she may not belong in the profession at all. The behavior could include charging entry fees to online groups, noobs offering education, providing matchmaking services, building platforms with their boyfriends, blah, blah, blah. Um, and then she says, like, only highly experienced individuals should be selling educational courses in this industry, and the fees should not rival that of Ivy League tuition. Uh, yeah. Um, if you've only been a sex yeah, worker for, for a few real. years and you're trying to profit off your peers, it raises red flags. Um, and that's the biggest thing, like, is this individual actually a successful sex worker or yeah. is she a scammer? You know? Yeah, no, I, I completely agree. And I think that there's, a, there's like a new wave of people. I don't know. Maybe this is my own brain thinking this, but there's just like, I've kind of seen a new wave of people coming in that like, I don't think that they're going to want to call themselves sex workers. I think that that's... Yeah, this is... And this is the conversation that happens every five years, too. You're so right. Pop off. Yeah. yeah, I just feel like there's... Like, it's starting to... The internet's starting to, once again, grow in a different way. And the fact that we have people coming on TikTok... Because, like, think about 2020 when we were able to be on TikTok. No issues. We weren't getting fucking violated from... I mean, we weren't violating terms. <laughs> nor were we were getting violated. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Yo, terms of service violates me all the time. Okay? Yes, it fucks me in the ass unconsensually. I'm sorry, it just absolutely <laughs> does, and it hurts, and I'm tired of it because yeah, I dude. cannot get past three thousand followers on fucking TikTok, and I used to have 150k. So it's upsetting to you're me. Being, and I'm you're being you're being cut, Jim. Yeah, I absolutely am. And I'm fucking tired of yeah. it. I'd like to get out of this kinky situation. Yeah. But yeah, I feel like the more that I see it, I, I'm i not going to lie, every single, single time I see one of those type of TikToks or Instagram posts or whatever, I always con- comment on it saying, make sure you pay your taxes because you're still a sex worker. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. I can't make sure it. you pay taxes because this is still a job. Like, Yeah, and- you're, you're, you're selling sex online that makes you a sex worker. I'm sorry, but like... Yep. Having that struggle within myself to be able to finally call myself a sex worker because that's what I was doing. And then seeing all these fucking people come online and not say what the fuck up it's straight is and that you're like having pimp predatory behaviors uh, is it's just it's not the vibe. I don't fucking like it. It pisses me off. It makes me feel like someone's listening to a song I've listened to for years and that yeah. they can just come in and, and like the it's a difference between seeing newbies come in and be like oh wow like there's like a whole new influx of people like we've left the mfc industry oh yeah there's a brand I love new only fans newbies they're cute yeah and like it's not hard to but they've they they there's still some level of like I, and it's not even respect it's not like they're doing anything to show us respect they just are still being real with the fact that like what they're doing is still sex work. I don't know. It's, yes. it's people yeah. that are on fucking TikTok, and I know that there's words they can't say, but like you can say smex worker or accountant, and people know what the fuck you're talking about. They're not even doing that anymore. There's no I'm an yeah. accountant TikTok. That's gone. So yeah, yeah, it pisses me off. It makes me mad, and it makes mm-hmm. me nervous because if they're not, I guess my thing is if they're not calling themselves sex workers, what can the government do to regulate more? of internet things that we want to post if now like normies are doing things that sex workers are getting in trouble for like will Mm -hmm. they start banning instagram baddies because like they're sex workers in my opinion that you're being a sex worker sorry yep yeah i don't know i don't just like like, professionally hot network yeah i can't figure out where the like line that's eventually going to be drawn with the internet and sex mm. on it i think it's like mm-hmm. going to take a big flip in the next couple of years there's a lot of regulation yeah. and yeah I I, I i'm where this this will be foreshadowing for sure there's there's changes coming um yeah. but i want to like fucking add on to what you're saying about like what defines sex work i mean that's the root of more or less this entire podcast we've talked about like how vague professionally hot yeah. is um yeah when i was on mfc i was a non-nude model and this was weird like there was only a few of us that didn't strip um and i remember being told actually uh on twitter one time because i was talking about sex workers rights and someone from the mfc community another another model said to me well you don't get naked you're not you don't even count like you're not even a sex worker um yeah fun i can Okay. Do you want? Do you want me to tell you who it is? You can just bleep it out. Yeah. <laughs> of course it was. Of course it was. Anyway, point Fuck is that, that fucking bitch. I'm gonna bleep all yeah, that out. I, <laughs> <laughs> I just cut it out. Um, yeah. We're actually not talking shit directly. Anyway, point is that I have I a sex am. worker. <laughs> right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's coming. Fucking swinging. But I am a sex worker, right? And these individuals on TikTok are peddling this idea, like they're saying, you know, you like. Oh, I'm doing this in like my sweatpants and and my, you know, my hoodie and like, you know, I'm just being mean to men. No. Men are masturbating. Like men are masturbating. (laughs) Don't feel bad for them. No. (laughs) They're fine. They're not suffering. No. And just because (laughs) like like, it's like I think people are like them. Um, yeah. you know, but it's like th- these these videos are like they're detaching the reality. They're they're focusing on like oh, th- like I'm just bullying men. No, you are providing a sexual experience. You know. Yeah, you're giving them um, fucking jerk off content, bro. It doesn't matter. Yeah, like doing. that's what's going like, on. And if you can't wrap your head around that, or you want to detach yourself from that in any way, all you're doing is essentially saying, "Well, I don't count." Bitch, yeah. you will fucking count, all right? Because I got fired from my job when I was outed as a yeah. sex worker. They didn't <laughs> yeah. give a shit that I didn't get naked. You know? No, like, no. <laughs> yeah, they I, were like, I, well. <laughs> no, no one in that, no well. one's going to care when you say, no. well, I, well, I'm not, you know, like, it, it's not actually bad. Like, I'm just being mean to men. You are a sex worker. 
Yeah. Welcome to yeah. never having a PayPal or a Venmo or being banned. Like you also, you are now in the industry. That's the most dangerous part is like making yeah. a fin dom, you know, Twitter account just because you're not posting pussy. doesn't mean that like you're separated from the stigmas that, that we experience. Yeah. No, you still yeah. are, you're, you're in the thick of it. Into the thick yeah. of it. She's <laughs> <Yeah, it's> <laughs> getting fired from jobs left, right, and center. Into the thick of it. No rentals for you. Into the thick of it. Like fucking divorce issues and parental, like supervision rights. <laughs> you know, like, when you're, when you're fucking in it, you're in it. And these like, these kind of newbies being like, all you have to do is like, you know, this, that, and the other thing. And it's like, don't forget for one second the territory that you're heading into yeah um yeah. it's like going into a strip club and being like well i like i don't take my clothes off all the way i'm not really a stripper like what the fuck are you doing in the club then like why are you yeah. here because if yeah. you're not and also like it's offensive you know you you don't want to call yourself the thing that you're doing that's fucking weird <laughs> like yes. in my opinion i'm like it's like working at a zoo and being like, I'm not a zookeeper. I just take care of the animals. Yeah. <laughs> what the, and what all, the fuck are you doing? What the fuck are you doing? Exactly. And that the, <laughs> yeah. the, I remember when I told my mom, you know, when I was like, oh, yeah, like, this is what I do. You know, I said, cam girl, cam girl. And at one point, you know, I said sex worker. And my mom was like, we're well, not you're not a sex worker. Like, you're a model. And I was like, mom, I understand what you're trying to do by saying that you're trying to protect me because mm -hmm. you're aware that sex worker is a stigmatized group. Essentially, whether you actually are recognizing it or not, you are viewing this group of people as bad. And by yeah. trying to retract that from me saying like, no, 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 you don't count. You're essentially trying to make me seem like more pure or better when sex workers aren't dirty or bad, right? Yeah, like sex I workers not, is, it, it, being called that, yeah. Yeah, like yeah. That, that's, you know, that's what I do. And it's these people, you know, not wanting to associate with the stigmatized group. They're just, they're trying to, essentially, they're trying to be like one of the boys, you know? It's yeah. this attitude that's, that's like, well, I don't blue. count. Yeah, and yeah. it's like, no, you do. <laughs> yeah. Whether you well, like to say it or not, you count. Yeah, and it's, I think it's like, it can, like, in your, in your mom and my parents' situation, in men's that I've talked to, them trying to like soften the blow somehow like you didn't already just call yourself a sex worker and they're like no no no, you don't do that and you're like they're like well you're not an escort i'm like what do you have against escorts then you know yeah. all you end up also, doing no is, i'm like, not i didn't say fingers. i was like yeah, yeah i don't know it's uh yeah it's, like, it's just it falls like, back oh, on I don't the... think... <laughs> go ahead no you go no you go no, I, was just... I wasn't gonna say anything important <laughs> i was just gonna say it's like when you don't feel fat and then someone says you don't you don't look fat and you're like like, I never asked that. I never asked <laughs> I never brought that, that up. Like, Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, exactly. But like, now I, I feel protected. Thank you so much for your protection. <laughs> like now that you've yeah. said it out loud, I guess I don't have to. <laughs> like it doesn't. Yeah. Now know. that you now that you've said that, uh, my university will take me back. Like. Yeah. Thank no. God. <laughs> no. Yeah. No. Good that's not how that works. Um, yeah. And uh, and so off of that, you get these newbies that you know, whether they're making money or not, whether they're actually making money off of, you know, just other newbies. Um, it's kind of funny because like, Ken's, why did you get into sex work? Because you were uh, fucking poor, right? Yeah, I wanted money. Same, same, <laughs> money. I, I was broke, right? Can you imagine like, you're like, oh, I'm broke as shit actually. Like I, I can't pay my fucking rent, but hold up, let me buy this $500 course from someone. Yeah good idea that sounds like no. something my money is yeah yeah no oh my god and especially when they're probably telling you to buy more shit it's scientology yeah. <laughs> they're just telling yeah. you to buy the books and then you're in date you're in date <laughs> you know what girl this is essentially like modern day reverse catfishing yeah like if catfishes are like dudes that take our pictures because they're trying to make sex worker money then a lot of these like fraudy scammy like advice you know courses are just like the creator version of a catfish yeah it's predatory pimp behavior i don't it understand is predatory pimp why behavior. they think it that it's like i don't know it's not it is it's uh, it's it's already a weird place to be at but also it makes me think that you failed at the actual sex work part 
<laughs> yes, and and this is this is where we get into like interesting territory, right? Um, oh my god, Hello. I wonder if my mic just picked up on my husband that aggressively. I heard it. <laughs> oh my god, um, bless him. Anyway, uh, bless you, Mister T. You know, I, um, uh, Violet Doll makes a good point. Like, who, who then is allowed? Who then is like? in who has the credentials at that point to be offering advice and why this is where like more fucking cr you have to use your brain right like yeah. if you or i started you know or any of the ogs to be honest first of all being able to do a job and being able to teach how to do a job two totally different things yep being when able I to teach to in general learning how to drive for myself fine teaching my ex to drive no <laughs> I'm not no, a teacher. No, couldn't do it. It's right? way harder. No. So yeah. that yeah, that also makes me sketch like mm -hmm. okay, so you didn't you didn't successfully do this, but now you have you picked up the little tiny things that you learned from other sex workers and put them into an ebook and now you're selling that for more than someone's groceries for that month. Like I don't Yeah. I don't yeah. Comprehend. Um it 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 ends up into like you know, in, again, interesting territory because at some point or another, like we, I think we've talked about the like sp sports player to commentator thing. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the best person to be able to to add commentary or even coach potentially, you know, a, a team could reasonably be someone that actually knew how to play the sport. Yeah. Right. And yeah. if you get too old and crickety and fucking exhausted to play the sport anymore, you know, then it, it does put you in a good position to be teaching other people how to do it. Um, yeah, but you just I, consumers have to fucking really do their research before they're buying courses, but they're not because they're looking for fast, easy money. No, yeah, I agree. The only and people making that... fast, easy money here are the fucking Etsy sellers, and I say this as someone who has a goddamn Etsy. <laughs> yeah, no, it's true. I think like the sports to sport commentator is a different pipeline because they're not sitting there trying to teach people how to play football for the first time. Like yeah. they're talking to people that have watched the sport for years, played the sport for years. They're not even talking to them. They're talking about them. They're literally just yeah, like true. there to give information and it's for free. They're like telling you what's yeah. going on right there and there. I think <laughs> anything that any person that is giving information about a sex worker that possibly failed or didn't, and I even failed, just like they aren't making 10 K a month, you know, like they aren't doing the thing that they say they're doing is equivalent to a baby helping a mother give birth to a new baby. <laughs> yeah. So just because you were born doesn't mean you can yeah. fucking doula another. But yeah. You don't have yeah. any fucking information on this and you're just out here being like, if you just push, it will come. <laughs> like, no. no, 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 it just doesn't work. No. Also, can we just no. talk about how my sweet baby angel looks behind me? She just. Oh my God. For the audio videos. listeners, Lily is just a, treasure a baby angel dinosaur lovely dinosaur baby in bed she looks like a so throw sweet. blanket she is i i just saw someone shave their dog and use the they like it died and then they made it into a blanket and i was like i don't think i could physically do that yeah. that is something that i maybe didn't ever want to know about yeah well <laughs> but unfortunately this is dark but bean would only be this big as a little dude <laughs> bean 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 would be a fucking Gordon face blue. cloth. He's just a ball you have on top of a hat. What is going on over yeah. there? Dude, no. dogs. Dogs are happening. We dogs. talked about Lily and now dogs are happening outside. Um, <laughs> anyway, sorry. Anyway, back to yeah, no. So like, what I reckon actually is probably the best way. If, you, if you're listening to this and you're like, well, fuck, man. Like, if I can't trust TikTok, and these courses that like maybe I've already paid for might be bullshit, you know, yeah. and I don't know. I don't know enough about the industry to know who's been around. I can't trust that follower count means, you know, tenure in the industry. And just because yeah. someone's top 0 0.05 doesn't mean that they can actually be a teacher. OK, then how do you learn? Subscribe to people's pages. Yeah, I, yeah it's, the same it's thing way as cheaper watching cam girls. You just just go yeah. look at the shit that they're actually doing. Find a bunch of people you like, different people. You know, subscribe yeah. to a bunch of different accounts. If you've got a hundred bucks to spend, you know, on Etsy, spend it on OnlyFans instead because you're helping the creators one-to-one, -one, right? You're you're absolutely padding the pockets of people that are working the job. 
Um, yeah. And you can see how different people do their their shit, right? Like, no, I you agree. know, and, it's the best way to learn for sure. Yeah, it's, and it's on the MFC, that was family. easier because it was free, right? Like <clears throat> for MFC, it was like, oh, just browse the the homepage. You know, we'll yeah. pin on this because I do want to come back to actually how to get started and MFC's homepage and how OnlyFans doesn't do that and how social media is a nightmare. So uh, out of curiosity, Ken's and I, Ken's and I are curious, okay? Ken's, are you making as much money as you want to make on OnlyFans right now? No. No, me no. neither. Do you want to no. be a kajillionaire? I would like to be a millionaire. A kajillionaire sounds like a lot of, a lot of problems. I think okay, well, I can't even buy a house money. for a million dollars, so... Um, okay, fair I, enough. I want to be a multi-millionaire person, but I also yeah. recognize that it's not easy to do that through OnlyFans. Okay, fine. Well, <laughs> Etsy tells it. us that it is easy to do that, all right? And it so <laughs> I'm curious. I just, I went on Etsy, um, and this is so fucking funny, I just went on Etsy and I typed in how to do OnlyFans, and <laughs> the third oh. option is one of my guides. <laughs> just self roast okay so yeah. now that we've gone through who to trust and who not to trust and the fact that everything pick is a marketing angle <laughs> yeah. pick me um no so what pick is like i'm me. looking i'm looking through this me. Me. so if i'm scrolling this there's the top one says um my top one percent of guide plus content planner um content see. planner Content People planner. Are selling, people are selling planners content. for content. It's called the yeah. Notes app on your phone. <laughs> Write and it in there. Right. Or Notion. Um, or just use Notion like Miss Ashley T. Yeah, Actually, use you were Notion. quite the scheduler. So you and I feel like I, um, if you were maybe yeah. a newbie, that was that would be something that would catch your eye. Yeah. Like, you like oh, this one says planner. bestseller. Okay, I'm clicking one that says bestseller. It's sold. I don't know how many times it's sold. They usually tell you. Um, but, uh, yeah, they think. advertise this. It says instant download only fans, flirty mass messages. And then they display at the top. You were in the top 0.03% of all creators. Who is this? <laughs> like th there's no way to, th you can just screenshot that and slap it on. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Photoshop um, exists, man. It's really not hard to yeah. fake your yeah. message. Get more messages and engagement what like they're just using yeah they're using random screenshots saying you know their pending balance is twenty six thousand dollars and like they're yeah they're just using you know oh in december i made one hundred and forty four thousand dollars. you can just rip those screenshots off of twitter um you can rip them off thankfully of with etsy just search fucking percentage on google yeah, and, it'll and tack it on images yeah Wow. Um, and the reviews, some, the first review says most of these captions are recycled and reused in every pack this creator has. Absolutely no depth or character to the captions. I was sent an empty file download. And when I complained, I was still given the wrong file. This user clearly yeah. buys all their reviews. Save yourself the time and money. I don't think the yeah. news is very good. Yeah. Um, this one's only $4, though. So. Um, yeah, but I feel like also if you're like looking at that, you're not looking at the reviews and you're buying it and praying that you're going to make a thousand dollars in your first day you might be stupid yeah <laughs> you might be mean. getting scammed but i'm just um, saying look at the situation in front of you and use your brain like ashley said and just yeah. make sure you read look at the reviews because that'll tell you right away maybe this isn't it maybe i don't buy this yeah. one I'm sure mm -hmm. there are there are some sort of guides out there that actually do help, but I don't mean yours because I know yours helps. Yeah, no I, mind. I already I, like am number one supporter. Thank you. But, yeah, the difference here is like, you know, if you want to if you want to know how to do the job, the best thing you can do is subscribe to people's pages, like we said, and just like take yeah. notes, right? But if you have specific questions, this is what I made my Etsy for, for example. Um, people were asking me how I edit my photos. Like people ask, people say, oh, you're like, what kind of camera are you using? And I keep saying, well, I'm yeah. just using my iPhone. They're like, well, why is the quality so good? And I'm like, okay, it's really hard for me to explain this like to mm -hmm. you. Um, yeah. So I put together an Etsy packet that has images, photos, like videos, you know, describing how to do a specific thing. Right. Yeah. That makes That's sense. Um, yeah. That's not, you're not trying just, to. 
scam a, a message across. You're just giving them the information that they asked for and you're teaching them how to actually do it. You're not telling yeah, them. Yeah, about hope. one specific topic. Yeah. Yeah. There's no and even if you are buying. It. No, no, exactly. Even if you are buying like, um, like people sell captions on mm -hmm. Etsy, you know, yeah. like prompts. But mm -hmm. like, what good is a prompt if you don't know what you're doing? Not you know, good. It's like learning no. how to say I'm lost in a language you don't know and then expecting to understand the reply, yeah. right? Like Yeah, no, it's very true. Yeah. And it's not it's there's a lot more information that needs to be learned before just buying a guide and assuming that that's going to work for you. And I'm sure that there are or listening other to guides like, out there. TikTok people. Yeah, or even listen That's to like our podcast. Do not come here for legit, real... I mean, we will give you information, but we're also, like, two fucking little ladies just talking shit. If you're yeah. looking for real advice, go look at the Cam Girl Survival Guide. Like, go look at the things that, like, you. you know, I wish Amber Cutie was still a fucking thing. Because, like, that's real <gasps> it, I think it is. Oh, my God. Is it? Yeah, can you look it up? I think it is. A shout out to Amber Cutie. Um, we have to, like, go all the way back. Yes! It's still, the forum still exists. Well, we talked so about when... her on the first episode, I think. Oh, yeah, good. I think we yeah, good. Because we were talking about where did you get your information to learn to cam. And we said watching yeah, Cam there's an OG. fucking Amber Cutie. Yeah. Yeah, like that was OG. information. That's where I got all my information from. I never, yeah. I watched Cam Girls, but like to learn it, I only looked at that. So, yeah, you know, yeah, same. Don't be dumb about the information um, that you're taking in. Like, it's there yeah. is good information out there, and and also um, another good person to go find information is looking at uh, Lydia Love, Internet Girlfriend, your Internet yes. Girlfriend. She posts YouTube videos about how she does better on OnlyFans and how she did better yeah. on camming and how she started her own cam site. And she gives good information and it's free. She it's does. not like, yep. she's not trying to scam anything. She's been in the industry long enough to also understand it. And I enjoy mm -hmm. watching her shit. So I wouldn't really yeah. recommend someone unless it wasn't someone I actually thought You're would actually give you good information. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. It's, yeah. Yeah, <clears throat> absolutely. And I'm sure. Oh my God, sorry. I just realized that there's a tiny baby. Oh, it's World Pang Pangolin Day. It's a dinosaur. <gasps> Pangolin. Little... Yeah, I'm gonna. Take I a love picture them. Of him for you. Sorry, that was. I love exactly... pangolins. They're so funny. It's a Pokemon. Like that's not real. They don't but... look real at all. And they're in danger. Okay, know. so be nice to pangolins. Um. Send me a. I thought it was a dinosaur. Dude, they looks pretty like much are. <gasps> oh my god, that's so cute. I'm gonna cry. He's just sitting on my thing. Oh. Yeah, they really do look like dinosaurs. They're scaly anteaters. They do. Sorry, they distracted. Are thought I saw a dinosaur. Very important. No, I love that. I learned Jurassic Park it on the really piano. Cool. Did you see that? <gasps> I saw that! Mm -hmm. <laughs> I yep. did it all by ear. And are you, you now you're a piano teacher, right? Yeah. <laughs> Come take yeah, lessons. Now you can teach me I'll piano. teach you how to play chopsticks. Yeah, yeah no, I learned it by Perfect. ear, though. I'm really smart. I'm really good at learning songs without needing music for them. Oh, my God. Uh, me, too. This is why we're <laughs> successful cam girls. Because we just... Uh, you gotta <laughs> have the... Concert, I'm a concert pianist. <laughs> concert You're a pianist. pianist. No. I'm a this penis. is your new job. Concert pianist. Yes. Um, the bottom of your hair just moved without you touching it, and it freaked me out. I will be absolutely screenshotting that for the YouTube. No, it's, oh, it's I'm just you... touching it from... <laughs> <laughs> for all of the people like... just listening to the audio. I have my hand like behind my head, <laughs> and I was ruffling my hair, and it was moving up my body, and Ken thought it was a ghost. <laughs> well, we went to that. Okay, this is a side side quest story, but remember we went to the little park behind your house and we were like, let's have a little yeah. ghosty night. And then you had that little statue and it dropped right outside of the entrance to the park. We couldn't find it. And then we were sitting there and all of a sudden, it's also a, a place where there's a, a end of life care facility. Is that what it is? There is. There's a hospice there. Yeah, so it's like creepy vibes at nighttime, and also we're sitting there, and my hair just starts <laughs> lifting up. And we we're both lifting. like, um, "I was like, I okay, it's either ghosts or we're about to be struck by lightning." Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. It was just one piece yeah. though, so I'm gonna say it's ghosts. But yeah, that was good. And um, then we walked out, and the little guy good. that we lost, like a little crystal guy, was just sitting on the outside of the entrance to the park. Creepy. 
<laughs> Ken's and I have witnessed Spooky. paranormal. We're gonna now create a paranormal experiences podcast. That's what we do now. <laughs> Can we? No, you'd be too scared. You wouldn't want. You oh, wouldn't go anywhere with me. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, let's go in the haunted house, and you'd be like, no. Let's go ghost hunting. And I'm like that. crying in the background. <laughs> yeah. Actually, people would watch that. Like they really yeah, fucking would. would. I would watch that. Girl, people watch this. Okay. <laughs> True. Thanks for watching. Shout out to all our listeners out there. So today we've roasted newbies, instructors, <laughs> scammers, and our own listeners. Also, I've roasted myself like four times. <laughs> Yeah, well, you just did that Etsy search and found yourself for trying to look up scammy information. Fuck, Oops. so good, though. But so on good. a real, anyway. actually, today's information is very helpful. And she also has a Twitch guide that helped me. I do. The dumbest of the dinosaurs to figure out how to figure out my Twitch, my, my Twitch, my Twitch stream, my Twitch stream <laughs> situation. Step number one, learn how to talk. <laughs> nope. Yeah. Can't do that. No. So yeah, go look at those guides too, because they're they're very helpful. And I think you yeah. have a way of talking in a way that it's not just assumed that they know every single thing that you're trying to explain. Do you know what I mean? Like it's not mm-hmm. it's not just like you should already know this. Like my dad, when he tries to teach me something, he is, he assumes that everything that's going on in his brain is already what I have in mind, and I don't yeah. at all. So it's really hard to learn from him. But with Ashley T's guide writing i feel like it's just easier to absorb so i commend you for that and appreciate you and thank you for your efforts (laughs) you're welcome anytime um yeah that's 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 the biggest takeaway is like use your brain if you're looking for info um you know use critical thought always ask yourself who is this you know go on their social medias check to see how long they've been doing things you know are they yeah. interacting with other creators that can vouch for them? Oh, um, um, as you're saying that, I was just thinking about this girl that someone sent me screenshots on Instagram. This was before the OnlyFans agency was really big, like before it was every mm. single fucking person. Because that's another mm. thing we could fucking talk oh, about fucking is the OnlyFans agencies. agencies. Yeah, but um, yeah, before they were really big, I had someone message me in my DMs telling me that they would like to help me grow my OnlyFans following, not not to be like paying them, not to do any of these things. It wasn't the same as like the OnlyFans agency kind of Management. vibe that they're giving off. Now. We should uh, wait. S- small pause um, because yeah. not everybody knows what that is. A lot of people these days talking about industry, trying to capitalize off of industry. Management companies are everywhere. Companies, I like to say, because a lot of them are just they're pimps, they're scammers, um, yeah. they're people that either want to run your account for you. Um, or they want to more or less be teaching you and they have no idea what they're doing, um, but well, just while profiting off your back. So that's, yep. that's it. I, I have probably 15 message requests on Instagram a day Yeah, my laundry's done um, that, that say like, hey, you want to grow your following? Hey, do you want to be top 1%? Like, hey, like pay me. No, stop. Yeah. So the new messages that everywhere. I keep the new messages that I keep getting are um this is this is the vibe that they're they're trying mm-hmm. to make a thing now they say mm-hmm. either hey are you available for a short time can i ask you a question i'm like mm-hmm. no i don't respond mm-hmm. or they say hey kenzie i don't normally do this but want to reach out because i think you do really well with my agent i think he's accepting new models right now so if you're interested let me know asap i can help get you in she has yeah. six thousand followers and then same kind of message hey totally get that this is weird I think my agent would help you blow up even more on here. I debated on reaching out because I'm sure you're already working with someone for some reason. I really felt like I need to message you. So winky face, no pressure. If you want to send me your info over to him and let me know. She's got 460,000 followers. But then if you look at her likes, she probably has 30 likes on each picture. Like do your fucking research. If you have scammy shit like that in yours and you're like, well, actually, that sounds good. Look at their fucking likes. Look at the things Mm -hmm. that they're posting. Because mm-hmm. probably not not it. Um, and yep. like I said before, when OnlyFans agencies were like constant, they were just messaging me asking me for if I wanted to ha- get help basically to get more subscribers. And at first I was like, ooh, like, you know, this is brand new. I, was, we, I didn't have the influx of the messages. So I was like, maybe I'm like, I'm, you know, I don't really know what else I could be doing. So maybe I can try this. He sent me a screenshot of a girl on 
think it was TikTok or Twitter, and her OnlyFans subscribers, she had like 7,000 subscribers and not on a free page. And I was like, what mm-hmm. the fuck? I was like, that's insane. But instead of trusting him, I found the girl online, direct messaged her and said, did you use this guy to help you get your shit? And she said, no, I'm so fucking pissed. Like, I did it all by myself. You know what she was doing? She was using the bad dragons on TikTok. So yeah, she was getting hella wow. subscribers. But um, wow. yeah, you, like, just do your research. Just look, just take the yep, two extra seconds to be like, research, is yeah. this legit? You, you can reverse yeah. image shirt search you know like just do anything yeah. to like make sure yeah, that you're not getting in. scammed yeah it's really yeah. it's worth it yeah especially in the industry and let's take a spin on this as well critical thought right if i'm yeah. a management company i want to spend my time making money off of people that are making a lot of money right it's in my best interest to do that so let's say yeah. that i am that girl with seven thousand subscribers at that point management may actually be something that i need i might need yeah. assistance going through messages delivering content like when you're that big you have enough money to to start essentially outsourcing support right yeah but for a management company to reach out to creators who aren't making any money they know that's yeah. not a long-term investment yeah. they're just trying to make Ten fifteen dollars off of thousands of people that are just starting, right? Instead yeah, of actually no, helping anyone, they're not yeah. doing jack shit. If you don't already have the subscriber base, they're not going to help you. They're just no, going to take your not. twenty dollars and run. Yeah. yeah, and then they're making money and you're not. When you could at least be profit profiting off of the little change that comes in from you running your own page, like it's yeah, yeah it's not worth yeah. it. And if you're not if you're not huge, that... do your own shit. Yeah, and the ones that are working with other girls and stuff, they're not in people's DMs saying, hey, do you want to work with us? <laughs> like, they they don't have to because they have women yeah. that are already or people that are already, you know, have big amount yeah. of subscribers. And why wouldn't mm-hmm. they just, like, message them themselves if they want that kind of help? So, yeah, yeah just don't fall exactly. for it. Don't do it. It's not worth it. No, Actually, Chris you, Connor you came the... out with a video. Um, did you watch his, his video with... Uh, no. Like, I can't remember her name. He actually had a cam, go- cam model that I'm I'm familiar with. I don't know if you know who she is, but um, she joined an agency and he was doing a video on agency scams. Whoa, that's so fans. cool. Yeah, uh, I'll look up the video and send it to you. But if you yeah. follow Curtis Connor, go watch that video because it's really interesting. And he, he interviews, I'm sure you know who she is. I'll send you the information afterwards because I don't want to butcher her name. Mm-hmm. But it was a very interesting YouTube video and like that's he really, really cool touched down on all the shit that we're talking about, but from like a man's point of view of like, why the fuck would they do this? We love yeah. Curtis Connor over here. He's our, we do, we do love Curtis man, Connor. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's, Shout it's a lot. Canadians. I mean, yeah. Love them. <laughs> love the little Canadians. I know you do. Yeah, you do. I yeah. feel the love. <laughs> um yeah i guess the whole topic of this episode is to shit on scammers and also tell newbies use your brains like use your yeah. brains if you actually want to do this it. if you want to make long-term money if you don't want to just ruin your chances of like a normal life to make ten dollars and never return yeah use your noggin first please for the love yeah. of god no yeah. it's worth it just to just to think take the extra step and just think a little bit more it'll be yeah. it'll be good for you <laughs> And you know what? The thing is, the people listening to us right now are the people that likely will do that. And we will never, ever reach the massive amount of influx of people that think that they're not sex workers because they're being rude to men. Like, it, it's unfortunate because we're, we're preaching to a choir that yeah. it, like, that is already, you're already smart, smart, okay? You're out there smart talking. little people. Um, but hopefully this offered some insight as well because it can be hard, like, even for smart 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 people it can be really tough to figure out what advice is helpful and what isn't well you want to trust the people in the industry too you want to think okay they understand that like we're already stigmatized and things are hard enough so obviously why would they be trying to screw me over but unfortunately people are still people and not to say that there aren't good creators out there that will actually be able to give you advice and honestly if you want advice from like a straight source like an actual content creator Subscribe to their OnlyFans, message them on OnlyFans, send a $20 tip with it and say, do you have any advice you can give me? And even if they give you jack shit, at least you're trying. That's what I would do. If I was like, really, if I decided in 2024 that I wanted to do this, that's what I would do. I'd be making Mm -hmm. sure I can tip them so I can get information, not taking it freely. If they're they're willing to, yeah. 
Yeah, and if they're not, move on yeah. to the next person. Figure the fuck out. Yeah, and not only that, even if they're not down to give you one on one, you know, even if that's not something that you know they they offer or whatever, just take notes. You know, mm-hmm. sit there with your fucking notion open and like take <laughs> take notes. You know, how often do yeah. they post? How what do they post? What do their DMs say? Are they do you find them annoying? Yeah. Like, you know, learn learn from people that are actually doing it. Yeah. Fucking I'm gonna rip my mic off and slam it onto the floor. Please don't do that. <laughs> we need that. I won't. It's a but good yes, mic. It's true. It is a good mic. I named him Kevin know. Bacon, by the way. I love that. Yeah, because it, it's Ash. a beacon. It, it's a beacon oh, mic. Like the brand is beacon, so, so I named Kevin him Kevin beacon. bacon, and I just call him Kevin. I love that. Hi, Kevin. Wasn't um, Ash gonna high. change her name on Twitch to Kevin? To Kevin. Yeah, Ash said if she got what was it like a hundred thousand followers in a year or something, she'd legally change her name to Kevin. <laughs> <laughs> And she totally would, though. No, she would. She That's would. exactly... She absolutely would. She's actually hoping that... She, not because she wants the followers, but just because she's like, I'm tired. <laughs> I want a new name. Like, I, could be Ke- be I could be Kevin. Yeah. Yeah. It makes sense for her. Yeah. I'm, it does. I'm so, I love her so much. Um, anyway, let's um, wrap this shit up, because I feel like... It, I know earlier on I said hey how do we do our jobs and i once again gave you um blue balls because Zilch. someone's like when the fuck are you going to tell me how to be professionally hot look we're we working don't on know. there we also don't figuring it no. out as we go no don't we've, tell we've them given that I'm selling we've, information <laughs> we've given information about how to be yeah. professionally hot how to spy a professionally hot worker and mm-hmm. what to do with that if you want if you want we've talked about how to be the messenger like what not to say so i think we Mm -hmm. have given advice on how to be professionally hot we but i think in the next two episodes we will be talking about an in-depth of like a day in the life what we actually do what works for us what does it and we'll do it for both mfc and only fans yes let's do that but Yeah. yeah today was more just let's shit talk the fucking scammers Mm. because yeah i'm sick and tired of it I'm sick and fucking tired of it. Anytime you see yeah. that shit pop up in your TikTok, dislike. Fucking yeah. not interested. It's no, it's I'm not. It's, I watched every video. I that was me <laughs> rage. I was rage scrolling at that point. Yeah. Um. Okay. Anywho, Ken's, where can people find you to support you? You can find me at onlyfans.com slash little baby or daddy's girl. No, I and the girl part. And that's my second girl. page. Girl. And uh, and you can find me. (laughs) Can you do that with your lip? No, I can only do it with my eyebrow. Oh, your eyebrow (laughs) one is there. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. I can't lift my lips. I think it's my injection. I can only do it on one side. Uh, Anyway, no, it just my Um, eyebrow does it every time I think about it, and then I lift my eyebrow. (laughs) I can't. I can't do that with my eyebrows. I can only do one. Um, Wow, it's really hot when you do that. You should sell that. Thank you. Um, you can also find me on Twitch at xkenziebaby, at Instagram at kenziebaby.x, and at Twitter at fatherfucker with the T, and Ashley T. <laughs> um, it's Where really easy. You can you? find me at, I am at omnipresent, okay? You can find me yes. on all platforms as uh, at hey Ashley T on all socials. Um, same with OnlyFans. You can also find my second page, which is heyashley.com tv um and then if you're looking for twitch content or safe for work content you can find me as ashley t cozy and i stream on twitch and i do literally everything all the time a day in my That's life oh <laughs> ladies yeah yeah um and all. you can find us um on instagram at professionally hot podcast on youtube at professionally hot podcast on twitter at ph podcast x and on tiktok i believe we're professionally hot could be professionally hot podcast i don't know and then spotify professionally hot just, podcast yeah just use your brain you can find us yeah just use that big brain professionally hot, i'm sure it will come up that is the Perfect. goal that yeah we need yeah. to get our marketing right. down so that way when people search professionally hot it's just our faces us <laughs> yeah Okay, well, we love you so right, much. Kenneth, Thank you so much for listening. So oh, right. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.